Hello, it's Susanna here from The Good Property Company. Hello, Sash. <laughs> and can you see the height difference? <laughs> Look how small I am compared to him. I'm really not that small. <laughs> I'm just obviously really small. <laughs> <laughs> so let me come closer, try and look bigger. Yeah. So, so we are here to show you this bad boy. Uh, oh no, the blue one. The blue one, number? 22. Yeah, and this was um, one of our very early deals. Yeah, number 26. Deal number 26, so that was first year of working together. It would have been, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we've worked together for five and a half, five and three quarter years now. Um, yep. And uh, this deal, what happened to it? Uh, it was a source deal. Yeah. Um, so we, we took a, a sourcing fee for it. Yeah. Uh, and we're working with uh, a really nice guy actually. Um, who we still work with. with. We still work with. Um, we're still in touch with now. Um, yeah, and he bought it as a source deal for uh, 145 yeah. um, back in, it must have been like 2011 or 2012, or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a full refurb. It was bought from an estate agent, a local agent to here. And yeah, it was pretty ropey. Um, mm. Yeah. And what did you sell it for? I uh, sold it for two hundred one and a half. Cool. In the end, yeah. And um, we didn't get involved in the deal though, in the actual refurb, did we? Because it was a source deal, so yeah. he bought the deal from us and then took it on. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he he had, um, and because we were in touch with this guy um, throughout the process, and we actually ended up having a bit of a bit of a beast with his uh, with his builders. So. Um, which happens. Which happens, unfortunately. Um, you know, every now and then. So I think it's um, it's one of those kind of lesson things, isn't it? To kind of try and get a builder that you can trust. Yeah. Um, and work with kind of productively on a project and problem solve, let's say. Yeah. Because um, I, I think the problem that he had with this was it had a bit of damp, um, which his first builder didn't fix. And then they ended up, you know, having a bit of a falling out in mm. the end. And yeah. And we just were, like, we didn't get him the build or anything. Um, but uh, rather than kind of zooming off, yeah. we were just there in the end of the phone, really, to go, OK, so what's the next step? And mm. I think that, I think weirdly, kind of going that extra mile really helped cement the relationship because it was like, well, they're there to try and help me a little bit. So, like, yeah. um, four years later, we still work with them. Yeah, um, I think, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? Like, because he, he wasn't Bristol-based either, so, you know, we just kind of did what we could to kind of just help him through it sort of thing, like, mm. you know, and just do what we could, yeah. So he um, bought, bought it, renovated it, sold it, and he had a little bit of a hiccup with his builder. He had to go back in, fix the damp. I think he may, from memory, he might have lost the first buyer um, just because they identified damp and maybe got a mm. second buyer, something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But what was really cool, I mean, was, I mean, he already had the idea he wanted to work in property and he decided that we were one of the people that he wanted to work with, which was great, and now he's full-time in property. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Yeah. Um, he's bought a, a, a number of other bits and pieces, some yeah. deals from us. We we got um, some flats in a in a, a block where we're the management company, and I actually own the majority of the flats, and he owns one of them, which is quite nice. So we're kind of managing that together. Well, we manage it, but you know he's part of that. Um, so it's been really nice over the last four years to watch his development, watch his progression. Mm -hmm. uh, and he he was in a job which obviously wasn't terribly fulfilling with a young family coming through. So it was really nice to watch him say, right, I've been able to do this as a result of doing a whole bunch of deals. Now I'm going to move full time mm -hmm. in property and continue to progress my property career. And that's one of the things I quite like about property is the relationships mm -hmm. you make with people. And when you watch people's lives change, like <laughs> our chap here, um, and you think, blimey, property did that. I mean, uh, it's happened to me, but it's really nice watching it to other people. And I was actually just, I was telling you, I was just on the phone to two of my friends who are property folks, and I haven't spoken to them for a little while, and I phoned them up, and they're all really good fun, just before I was to go on stage talking at Berkshire, which was, you know, a real honour, and I'm really, really nervous. He was in the row in front of me, and he went, just think of them as naked policemen. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're speaking to like anything up to 300 people and you're suddenly mentally thinking they're naked policemen like all the nerves just disappear anyway so I'm on the phone to them and they um, have decided to become <laughs> they've decided to move to New Zealand and basically they've got a massive portfolio in Britain and they've got somebody managing it here they do an hour a day um, and they are currently touring the world they're not back in the UK till next June and it was so inspiring because property I mean I've watched them from buying properties to developing properties to kind of working in the intricacies to now saying, look, we are totally free and we will see you next June. Not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. And I had my first taste of that when I went to Rio this summer. Really nice. So whatever you're doing, um, whether you've got problems with builders, you know what? They're, they're awesome, Antibel. 
uh, you've got a contract, you need to identify what the guy's done, what the guy's not done, whether you're working with sourcing companies uh, to buy deals, you know what, you're probably going to do some good stuff. Um, but step by step by step, you can move from the day job, like the chap here that did this one, into property. Mm -hmm. And it's and then, <laughs> hopefully, cruising the world, like my friends. Cool. Right, see you later. Yeah.